Hey guys, Adam here with americantrucks.com and today we're taking a very quick look at and installing the WeatherTech stone and bug deflector available in the dark smoked finish for the 19 and newer Silverado 1500. Now very simply put, you should be checking this out if you're looking to protect your investment. Now obviously when you're driving down the highway or back roads, curving corners with your truck, you're very likely to have stones, rocks, and bugs kicked up at the front end of your truck, which can pose a threat to your factory paint, specifically on your hood. This is obviously most prevalent if you're driving on the highway and the car in front of you is kicking up rocks, dirt, or other things like that. If you're running through a construction zone or something like that, where it's more prevalent that dirt and rocks are on the road. This is gonna help protect your investment. Now, WeatherTech actually did thoughtfully design this guy. Now, this actually follows the body lines of the vehicle's hood. As you can see, it has those divots in the hood in the center section. You can see that continue straight down with the hood deflector. Now, the goal of this guy is to come a little bit off of the hood here, put a barrier between those obstacles and your factory paint, and it'll kick that up so it doesn't come in contact with the body of the vehicle at all. Now, another nice thing is at each end, it actually flares out just a little bit. So if anything was to come in contact here, it would actually fling off straight to the side instead of flinging off at your fender. So it is really thoughtfully designed. And as you can see, I just knocked it pretty hard here. It's flexible and it's made from a very sturdy, heavy duty acrylic material and a dark smoke finish. Now the dark smoke just adds a nice stealthy look to the front end. It blends in a little bit more with the black accents that you have on your factory grill. If your truck came with more of a blacked out look like ours did, we obviously have some chrome on there, but there are some blacker accents in between. If you have a darker colored vehicle like black or a charcoal gray, for example, this is gonna blend in a lot more with the body of the vehicle, but even against our red vehicle here, which is super bright, very contrasty, it still looks pretty good. Now granted, it has more of that unibrow design, which not everybody's gonna be a fan of, but again, if you're looking to protect the investment, this is a really nice way to go. With the sturdy construction and its ease of install and the fact that it doesn't touch the body of the paint at all, it's a pretty worthwhile investment coming in right around 150 bucks. Install wise, one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. It's a no drill install, direct bolt on, very simple hand tools will get the job done. Really all you need, panel removal tool and a Phillips head screwdriver and you can get the job done. It's gonna use pre-existing factory clip positions underneath the hood to fasten itself on. And it's got additional clips here on each side that'll be protected by a new film that comes in the kit. So it doesn't actually come in contact physically with the pan itself. I'm gonna walk you through the whole process. It'll take you about 30 minutes, maybe an hour from start to finish, probably a little bit less than that though. What do you say we get started? Tools used in the install include a panel removal tool and a small Phillips head screwdriver. First up, you wanna have the bug deflector face down. You wanna take a look at the hole closest to the end here, and there's one on each side. Take this little swivel bracket, go underneath. It's got a little welded on nut there on that plastic piece. You want to grab the Phillips head screw and you want to tighten it down on top of that bracket. Repeat that on the other side. Under the hood, there's this weather strip sealant. Now, inside of that, there are push pin clips, little plastic black push pin clips all along. On each side, we have to remove the second and the fourth one in from both sides. So I'm starting here on our passenger side. I'm just going to go up here with our panel removal tool. If you need to, you can bring your hood down. Obviously, this is gonna be a little bit more difficult to see on camera, but uh, if you're taller, it might be a little easier for you, but you're basically just gonna go up under here and pop them off. Just like that. You wanna make sure that guy comes all the way out. Remove again, the second and the fourth one in. So that was the second. Let's move over one. Skip the next one, hit this fourth one. Make sure it comes all the way out. Same thing on the other side. Now this next step is a lot easier with a helping hand on the other side. Basically, you're gonna hold this guy up on the hood Pull that liner back just a tad where you remove the clips and put these tabs underneath of that liner. So you wanna make sure both of them are going in simultaneously. Be careful not to damage that liner. Do the same thing on both sides, obviously. From here, you wanna take the plastic clips and you're gonna peel back the liner, put it through the plastic tab on the hood deflector and then into the hood where the factory clip was. Just 
like that. Do that for both of them on each side. All right, once that's in there, you wanna put the Phillips head screw through the hood liner into that fastener that we just put in. and then push it in to lock it in place. Repeat that for all four. All right, you can use a Phillips head screwdriver if you need to, to help lock it in. Repeat on both sides. Once you knock out both sides for those hood pins, you wanna come over to the edges where this plastic clip is. Now, even though it's plastic, you still don't want it to make direct contact with your factory paint. So just take note of where that clip lands on the hood Peel off the backing on the protective film that's included in the kit. Stick that film onto the underside of the hood and then wrap it around the edge so it's on the outside as well. And that plastic clip goes on that protective film instead of going right up against your factory paint. All right, same thing on the other side. At that point, you're good to go. That's gonna wrap up my quick overview and install for the WeatherTech Stone and Bug Deflector in Dark Smoked, available for the 19 and newer Silverado 1500. Get yours right here at americantrucks.com.